I welcome to this very special free webinar, very brief webinar on the power of email marketing, how to develop an email marketing strategy for your organization. Brought to you by emailmarketingcoach.org, helping you grow your list and make more money. Very excited about this free webinar series that we have done. It's actually available on our website, emailmarketingcoach.org. It is completely free if you are a constant contact user or an AWeber email marketing user. So if you use Constant Contact or AWeber, head over to emailmarketingcoach.org and get that free five-part series on the power of email marketing. My name is Jerry Robinson. I am the email marketing coach. We're going to spend some time here just talking very briefly about why email marketing makes so much sense. You know the number of emails sent per day in 2010 was almost 3 billion, 2.94 billion emails sent per day in 2010. That's up from 2.47 billion in 2009. 2.8 million emails are sent every second, and some 90 trillion emails are sent per year. 90% of those are spam. And I probably get a lot of those. I'm sure you do too. The number of genuine email users in 2010 was 1.9 billion. So despite the fact that there is a lot of spam out there, and we can all testify to that, nevertheless, email marketing is still extremely powerful. It's an extremely powerful medium for conveying the mission uh, of your organization, whether you're a church a nonprofit organization, or perhaps you are a small business, or maybe you're just a blogger and you're trying to generate awareness about your articles or about your particular website. Email marketing is a very powerful tool for accomplishing all of those tasks that you're trying to, to do. So your email marketing goal is really pretty simple. You want to connect, you want to educate, and then you want to grow. And let's just get down and dirty with those three words real quickly. Connect, meaning we want to connect to build customer relationships. Email marketing shouldn't be about you shouting out and blasting out shotgun approaches to your people. Instead, it should be about reaching out to connect to build relationships with your customers or your members or however your business is organized. The next step is education you're really going to be educating people who will buy into your message. It really doesn't matter if you're selling a product or a service or even if you are a church or a nonprofit. You really must be in the process all the time of educating people to buy into your message. They need to understand why they should support you or why they should buy your product or service. And that takes education. So education, with its tremendously important role in the sales process can be helped and furthered by email marketing. Finally, we connect, we educate, and then we grow. Growing your business. How do you grow your business with email marketing? Well, you spend a lot of time doing targeted marketing. And we're going to show you how to do that very easily with Constant Contact or AWeber. Once you have an account set up with Constant Contact or AWeber, it can be very, very simple to begin target marketing those individuals who are clicking on anything in your email. We get calls all the time here at our office with people who say, well, I would really like to increase my open rate or I would really like to increase the response rate that I get to my constant contact emails or my AWeber emails. And that's what we help people do predominantly through our video series on our website, emailmarketingcoach.org which is completely free for Constant Contact and AWeber users. Now, the basics of email marketing, you know, let's think about this. First of all, if you're a blogger or if you're a business owner, you really can take your ideas and turn them into profits online. We live in an amazing time now with the Internet where so many people now can actually take their ideas or their hobbies, whatever, their passions, and they can actually begin to turn a profit simply by learning how to properly market and properly position themselves in the marketplace. But the problem is, is that many people don't understand that value creation is what's important. 
And relationships are vital. In fact, relationships are the currency of your business today. Think about the growth of social marketing. Think about the growth of the social media world that we've seen. People connecting with other people. It's very powerful. You'll even see companies like Procter & Gamble and Walmart and many of these behemoth corporations who are now turning to Facebook and to Twitter trying just to relate with their customers because they realize that that is the future of business. Relationships are the currency of your business. And acquiring customers and creating and cultivating those relationships takes time, it takes money, and it takes effort. And I put here, remember the seven touch rule. It's an old marketing rule that you learn in college or high school where you have to see a message about seven or eight times before you actually are going to make a decision. So. You can send out an email over and over and over again to a prospect, but if it's not crafted properly, then you may never convert. Just because your logo is there doesn't mean that they're going to buy anything, right? You actually have to be providing value, something of value. And speaking of value, let's talk about the value of the customer. There was a Harvard Business Review study done back in 2002, and it showed that the value of a customer is so unbelievably high when you consider that it costs six to seven times more to gain a new customer than it costs to retain one that you already have. So you've already paid for your current customers, so we need to be cultivating relationships with them through the email marketing process. The other thing about customers is that they spend more. A repeat customer spends 67% more with your business or with your organization than uh, you know, than someone who doesn't or who's a brand new customer. So repeat customers are truly valuable. And also they are referral engines. Really interesting part of the study showed that over, uh, after 10 purchases, a customer, a repeat customer obviously, has already referred up to seven people to your business or organization. So this is a really powerful testimony to the fact that we do need to be cultivating those relationships with our customers, especially those who are repeat customers because they really are the ones who are advocates for your organization or your business. Now, everyone needs email marketing because it's just the way we operate today. Everybody has it on their phones now, uh, obviously on their laptops and their PCs. It's the way we communicate also through social media. 91% of internet users, according to eMarketer, between the ages of 18 and 64 send or read email, and an even higher number of users age 65 or older do the same. 147 million people across the country use email, and most of them use it every single day. Therefore, this is where your customers are. Your prospects are, are looking at their email. Now, if you get on to your email service, Constant Contact or AWeber, and you begin to blast out uh, emails to these people, to your customers or to your prospects, and they're not properly targeted, then you're going to be missing the boat because these people, uh, they're bombarded. They get emails from everywhere. And so it's very important that we approach your email campaign very strategically, very intentionally. Now, when we compare email to direct marketing and to direct mail, it's uh, intensely I mean, it's, it, it's unbelievably more concentrated, and it's extremely more valuable, um, but it's cheaper. So for the same response that you get from email marketing, direct mail costs 20 times as much. So it's 20 times cheaper to get your message across through email marketing than it is through direct mail marketing. The return on investment in email marketing is the highest when compared to any other internet marketing medium. It's just truly powerful how email marketing is so cost effective for small businesses and churches and nonprofit organizations and bloggers. So before you enter into the email marketing world, ask yourself these questions. Number one, do repeat and referral customers help your business? If they do, then email marketing should be a definite part of your overall marketing strategy. Number two, do you have a plan for delivering multiple communications? Now, that's a very interesting question because many people 
get seized up with her email because they don't know what to send. No, what, do, what am I going to send? I mean, you, you send them a welcome email when they sign up for your email list. But then what are you going to send them? Are you going to write something? Do you have time to write an article every single day, every single week, every single month? Do you want to put together a newsletter? Or are you going to send out promotions? I mean, how exactly is your marketing mix going to look? Is your audience interested in your message? Is it valuable to them? If it's not, they may love your product, but they may not care what you have to say about anything. They may love your service, but they may not necessarily want to hear from you in between using your service. So you need to think about how can you add value to their lives through touching them through email. You need to be in their inbox, and let me tell you why. Your competitor is in their inbox. Therefore, you if you have a customer, you need to be in front of them providing value to them on a consistent basis. It's vital. Number four, can you make your emails look professional and reflect your brand? I see a lot of people who come to us who say, can you help us create an email that looks like our website? Absolutely. I don't know if you know this, but Constant Contact provides that completely free whenever you sign up through them through one of their partners. And we can actually provide that to you. If you want a completely free website match of your email template, simply call us at 888-580-4460 and we'll make that happen for you through Constant Contact. AWeber, we can design one for you and they're very low cost, very low cost. Number five, do you have an email service provider to help manage your strategy? That's a question. If you don't already use a Constant Contact email marketing service or AWeber or one of these, then it's important to use that. It's very tacky, I believe, to see some of the emails that go out from a personal inbox and everybody's name is visible when they send. I've known people who do that. And it's really tacky because then I can see everyone else that they sent the email out to. Eh, that's not very professional. It also makes you look small. So you want to make sure that you're actually using an email marketing service that helps reflect the proper values that you hold and also helps you reflect the proper image that you want to convey. So we're not talking about doing a lot of spam email with your email marketing, but instead, put simply, professional email marketing is simply this, and I put it into a sentence here. The practice of delivering high-quality email communications to an interested audience containing information that they find valuable. That's it. That, that sentence right there conveys a lot. The practice of delivering high-quality email communications to an interested audience containing information they find valuable. Not you find valuable, right? Not what I find valuable, but what they find valuable. So that's exactly what we're going to be focusing on as we go through this series on emailmarketingcoach.org. Here's a real basic um, setup of how someone would begin an email marketing campaign. And I, I got this from digitalphotographyschool.com. I thought it was a really good graphic and shows the proper way to go whenever you're setting someone up as a new subscriber. So someone comes to your website and they sign up for your e-newsletter. First of all, we have a lot of things to help you with when it comes to that. We've seen a lot of mess ups on that front, especially with Constant Contact and AWeber, the way that you're able to um, set that up and really, really create a great moment there for your new subscriber. This The reader subscribes, and then he instantly receives a welcome email. Then, after that, look at this. It goes weekly update, promotion, weekly update, weekly update, weekly update, themed update. And then you'll notice here that there is a series that occurs. It's not just promotion, 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 sales, sales, sales. But instead, it's value, value, and then a promotion. Value, value, then a promotion of some sort. So we need to make sure that our ratio is proper. And we're going to talk about all that in this series uh, that you'll be able to have for free. Now, I want to tell you, to access this free series, you simply go to emailmarketingcoach.org and you subscribe. You do basically register. It's completely free. And we actually provide you with a free 30-minute email marketing critique. I mean, I don't know of anybody out there who's going to do this. 
we're actually going to take a look at your constant, you know, you have to be a constant contact or a Weber customer or a prospect. If you're not currently with constant contact or a Weber, then that you also qualify. But if you're a constant contact or a Weber customer, we'll provide you with a free 30 minute email marketing critique. And myself, I will actually be the one who helps you. So we'll, we'll take a look. We'll actually subscribe to your email newsletter. We'll take a look at it. We'll schedule a time. We'll sit down. We'll go over your email marketing strategy. And then we'll give you some creative input on things that you can change and how to take your organization to the next level. On top of that, you'll also get the rest of this video series. There are five videos in this series, and we're going to be covering a lot of different things, including how to create an autoresponder series, how to put your email on autopilot, how to increase your open rate, how to increase your response rate, how to monetize your list, how to get more subscribers. We're going to be covering a lot of different things in this series. And so you want to get all of this video series for free. It's absolutely free as long as you're a Constant Contact or AWeber customer. But on top of that, we're going to give you a free 30-minute email marketing critique. So I want to encourage you to go to our website, emailmarketingcoach.org, or you can call us. Our phone number is 888. Let me put that up on the screen for you here. It's right down here. 888-580-4460. 888-580-4460. And just call and ask for Jerry. That's me. And say, I'd like to set up that free critique for my Constant Contact or my AWeber account. I'd like to get some advice. And remember, this is completely 100% free. We don't charge for our critique. We don't charge for our video series. They are completely free. Just call us and let us know that you saw this video, and we'll provide that to you. All right. Well, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.